Hi Matt fans, today we are just going to have a quick look at how we can edit features in QGIS and we'll be looking at creating a new field. Fortunately I have a map of a farm and one of the shapefiles is called fields. This does not relate to making new fields but we are going to make a new field in the fields layer. Ooh, confusing. All right, anyway, so how do we do this? Um, I'm just going to right click on fields and then I'm going to open the attribute table. There it is. You can see our attribute table at the moment doesn't have much in it. And if I select one of these guys, you should see it selected in the map behind. So we can see which row relates to which feature. Now what I would like to do is create a new field and to do that we need to edit. So I'm going to use this little yellow pencil button and this will toggle our editing mode. I'll click on that and in the background lots of red crosses appear. That means that we could actually change the geometry of these fields but we're not going to. Instead we're just going to add a new field. So new field here and it's going to ask for a name. For the name, I'm going to use decision. I've got no comments and the type is very important. What data type are we actually going to store in here? And I would like it to be text or a string. And the length, I'm only going to have it as 15. So that'll be 15 characters that we're allowed to put into this new field. Okay, that. And you'll see that they all appear as null at the moment. Now, Null is fine, but I'd actually like to rename these. So let's imagine for a moment that up here in field one, I have crop one. And in field two, I have crop two. And then I have crop one. Then I have crop two. So we can just keep going down this all the way and we can actually add attributes manually to our fields. Once we've finished editing, I can turn it off by toggling the editing mode. Um, we can save our edits actually up here. So using the little disk button, I'm going to save what I've done. That's all saved. I'm going to stop editing. And now we can see that we've got crop one, crop two, etc. That's useful for thematic mapping. So if I was to open up the symbology for this layer, our style. Then at the top I could go to categorized and I'm going to use our new column decision to categorize them and we are going to use a color ramp of hmm which color ramp? Plasma. That sounds fun. And let's classify them. So we can see that we've got something that has no name is going to be blue Crop 1 will be pink and crop 2 will be yellow. Let's apply that. And there we can see our fields that were crop 1 or crop 2. And all of these ones that I haven't named just to save some time. So that's how we can make a new field um, in our attribute table and then style our shapefile thematically. Very good. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. Give us the thumbs up and if you have any questions about GIS, QGIS, ArcGIS, just get in touch via the comments and I'll be able to help you out. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.